Hey everyone, welcome back to Sammy Glee's Twisted and I will definitely go out with Janaba because we have decided that we want to fly our drones. This is the first time I will be flying my drone in the car. So this is what I did with my hair. I put it in a bun and I'm reunited with Jainaba. And we also met on Instagram. <laughs> and we are at the monument of African Renaissance. So we are going to wade ourselves through all these people. Oh my god. Limon. This is some sport. Let's save, save our energy. <laughs> Let's save our energy, Kay. stopped here and there you can see Far de Mamel and you can overlook a little bit of Dakar and we still have this to go garden yes <laughs> and we came from that way wow it's so beautiful Hello everyone, so Janaba and I went to the Monument of African Renaissance and I'm sure most of you have seen it and some of you may have already visited, which is cool, but there's a lot about the monument that people don't know about, which is why I decided to dedicate my next video to a side of the monument that not a lot of people know about. So Janaba and I went to fly our drones and we loved it until we didn't. What's important to know is that next to the monument, there is a military base and you cannot fly drones here without authorization. So kids, if you want to fly around the monument, definitely ask for authorization so you don't get in trouble. Janaba and I thought we were going to spend the next three to seven years in jail, but fortunately we didn't have to. So now I will share some specifics about Le Monument de la Renaissance Africaine or the Monument of African Renaissance. It is located in Wakam and the statue sits on top of a hill that's a hundred meters high and the statue itself is about 50 meters high and in order to get to the monument you will have to climb 198 steps to reach the top last but not least but is very important it cost about 27 million dollars to build 
In 2010, Senegal celebrated its 50th year of independence and to celebrate President Abdoulaye Wad inaugurated the Monument of African Renaissance, even though it was scheduled to finish at the end of 2009. However, the president said that the monument symbolizes the triumph of African liberation from centuries of ignorance, intolerance, and racism. However, it is also a symbol for greatness, stability, and durability. And he actually hoped that the monument of African Renaissance in Senegal would rival with the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower as a tourist destination. So what I want to know is your thoughts about the monument so far. And in the next video, I will talk about the other side of the monument. Definitely enjoy the rest of the video and you will definitely hear from me in the next video. Jainaba and I are back from our droning experience. Hello. Merci. And and we are now. Ah. <laughs> so we are at La Le Cocotier and this woman just walked into my shot and then accused me of filming her no ma'am you just walked into my shot so we both have the Bora Bora cocktail without alcohol of course because we don't drink so I have a margarita because that's my favorite and she has four cheeses Yes, and we both have the same cocktail. It's called Bora Bora. Bon appetit! And the water looks like it's gonna hit us every time, but it doesn't. Hello everyone. So it's almost 1 p.m. I forgot to film this part, but today was a wild day and however we had a lot of fun droning at the monument of african renaissance it was great to eat some pizza with jainaba to see her again and that was it for this video if you have any questions definitely let me know and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i just wear my hair like this for bed i will put on my bonnet and go to sleep tomorrow i will meet up again with Mari. we are gonna go to the beach my first time so i need to grab my swimwear and prepare for that as well and see you in my next video mm -hmm.